Okay, well, I uh, recently got this 17-inch Rockwell, Delta Rockwell, I suppose, drill press, and I've just cleaned it up and sort of rebuilt it, rewired it, I suppose. There's an old 15 in the background there. I don't know if that'll focus on that or not. Anyways, but this is a 17, and the reason why I got it was uh, it has a slow-speed attachment on it. And now, that's the slow-speed attachment right there and it takes tapered bits and so that if you wanted to drill a, um, a fairly large hole in metal you need to use these tapered bits. Now I'll just show you how slow that slow speed attachment runs. Oh. Making a, a holder out of aluminum for my drill bits the tapered bits look like this. Um, hopefully you can see that. That's a number two Morse taper, the tapered shank right here. And the tang that's on the end fits in this slot. Just turn that around a little bit. That slot right there. And so it goes up inside, and that's how you get it out. You drive a wedge in that slot. Anyways, so I'll just drill a hole here. If you're drilling in steel, you would clamp that to the table, um, just your piece of work, so that it doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't escape and isn't going to start whipping around like that if the drill bit catches. But in thin aluminum like this, um, and I'm going very, very, very slow, and it's a long enough piece so I can just hold it. Alright, so the way that's going to work is it's going to mount on the wall like this, and the drill bits sit in there like that. Now my concept of uh, using aluminum is that aluminum is a dissimilar metal and it more easily oxidizes or corrodes I suppose than iron does and what that'll do is that as the um, aluminum oxidizes which it would do before the iron does it drives electrons onto the iron bit and prevents the iron bit from rusting as a result, my iron bits will stay sharp. Okay, long there they are. Goes from half up to uh, seven eighths, I guess, or a little over seven eighths. And these are all American and British bits. And I took number punches and punched numbers into the lead row. And rubbed some chalk into the numbers so I can see them. Well, that's it. Bye for now.